Hella is a value card. I've been saying it forever. About six months ago, I put out a Hella Lockjaw video. Check it out. Now, what do all the good Hella decks have in common? Yeah, they're Hella Lockjaw decks. Am I a prophet? Yes. Am I a lucky moron? Yeah. Do I answer my own questions? Yeah. Is the intro card about to pop up? Oh my god, this deck is cracked. What's up, nerds? I'm pretty sure you're familiar with Hella decks, so I'll just go over a couple of the key cards here, some of the weird choices that you might have questions of. First up is Sunspot. He basically is there to fix our bad draws. Without America Chavez to make Lockjaw being played early more frequent occurrence, uh, Sunspot is there to soak up that extra energy whenever we have crummy draws. Also, he's quite good with uh, She-Hulk and Scar. There are plenty of scenarios and games you will win simply because you have those three cards, even if you don't do your Hella thing or your Lockjaw thing. It's pretty cool. The second thing is Kyra. She's here to protect our Sunspot and Blade. And also, if we get our Lockjaw going, we don't want everything bopped out of existence by Shang-Chi. So that's what Kyra's for. But I gotta be honest, in these games, didn't really come up too often. So if you don't have Kyra, you could probably put Jubilee in there and it might actually be better. And then finally, we have Silver Sammy here. Uh, Sammy is basically to discard Blob. Make sure you don't discard your own Sunspot. Rarely ever happens though. Almost never, actually. And uh, he's, he's solid. I like Silver Samurai. I just got him. That's why I wanted to make this deck. That's the deck. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comment section below. It's game time. Cool. We got Blade and Sunspot and Hella. Happy Camper. Happy Camper. Okay, uh, great. Sure, yeah. Blade at Weir Island is totally fine. Da -da -da. Weir. Great, and then Silver Samurai is gonna discard Blob. Um, Monster Island helps. I know it's even, but it helps us because it fills up the board more so we can dictate where things go with Hella. But I think basically we just play everything in a weird island and then leave one spot open for Hello there. I think death would be about our best draw. Uh oh, this is not good. Yeah, death, uh, I should do Sif instead of Samurai, I think. Because um, next turn, Samurai still guarantees to discard Blob. Sif might not be guaranteed to discard Death next turn. And we float one energy for Sunspot. Well, you can get really big in one lane. <laughs> Yeah, Samurai gets rid of Blob, and as long as you don't draw Scar, Blob's going to be pretty big. And we're getting Death and Infinite back. That's pretty good, too. We might be able to keep up with the Human Torch in the Human Torch lane. I mean, unless you have Taskmaster, that, that'll suck. Okay. So there's going to be a Human Torch there, and it's going to bounce to a random lane. Yeah, we still might win this. Blob's gonna get up to 15. Yeah. Unless he has a uh, Taskmaster. Maybe he has Living Tribunal. If he has Tribunal, we can, we'll for sure lose. That's Tribunal, isn't it? Why didn't he put Human Torch where Hercules is? Why wouldn't you just do that and then bounce it again and then play the Tribunal? Oh. <laughs> Wait a second. We still win. <laughs> I, Zola did not enter my brain whatsoever. I thought it was Tribunal or Taskmaster. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, sunspot on one is fine. Super key. Alright, glad we got rid of that. 
I don't think that affects us too much. Okay, well he has my Lockjaw. I'm gonna assume this is a Loki player. Who else plays Mirage? Um, yeah, let's just throw out Lockjaw over here. I want to play it with Lockjaw because we don't have anything to cycle too much, really. So cycling once or twice is fine. Yeah, cool. We'll just do this. And uh, worst case scenario, we hit Lady Sif. Well, that's a She-Hulk. <laughs> I can see it on the deck tracker. That's, that's how I knew that was She-Hulk before it popped out. Um, Silver Samurai, please. That would be cool. Nice. All right. Um, now we can just slam a Scar next turn. This is pretty solid. Yeah, it costs five. Everything costs five. Yeah, we just, uh, let's slam Scar over here. Yeah, let's play Scar there, and then we'll also play Hella there. We are bringing back a Blob and a Death. Actually, no, I'll play Hella on the left, because we might get super unlucky and have both things res at the Bifrost. So, hedge our bet by playing Hella on the left lane. Cool. This should be an easy win. I'll be shocked if we lose this. I mean, I guess he could, like, Shang-Chi, and then I could have a bad Hella pull here, but it's fine. All right. I play, I play this guy way more than anyone else in the game. It's kind of weird. That sucks. I think we just fire off Blade, though, and discard Blob. Actually... No, let's not. Because what if we, we're probably not going to draw Hella? So we should probably just hang on to Blob. Because it's for sure going to be big this game. Okay. Do I just play Blob? Yeah, I'm going to play Blob. We, maybe we just only eat the Infinite, which would be great. We eat a bunch of rocks and Infinite. No, we still have Kyra, Silver Samurai, uh, Infinite, and Death in the deck. Um, which is actually kind of rad. How many how many rocks do we have left in the deck? All right, so we only have one rock left in the deck. That was an awesome play. Cool. Yeah, that was super sweet. <laughs> All right, easy peasy. Noise Boy. Hey, if you ever happen to see this video, Noise Boy, um, I like your name. Boys Noise was a very important band to me in my 20s. I guess it's not a band, it's one guy, but if you like electric music at all, Boys, Boys Noise is super cool. I didn't even think about whether or not I should put Blade or Sunspot. Yeah, it's fine. Cool. Sunspot makes so many decks so much better. <laughs> like anything similar though, it's literally similar to what I'm playing right now. Um, yeah, we don't need a fire off blade. Okay, we got a Black Knight deck. Cool, we drew Hella, we drew Blade. And Kyra, so everything we draw now is going to be discardable. Sweet. Now, do I actually play the She-Hulk? Let's go ahead and do Kyra, Float. That'll let us play She-Hulk for three, three energy, and then make Sunspot bigger. Yeah, this is solid. Let's do this. Okay, that's fine. I don't need to cycle stuff in the 
into um, this tower anymore. Yeah, let's just throw out She-Hulk. We'll put it over here. Do I don't think I want to compete with the Shuri. Um, then we float again. Actually, let's cycle with the blade. No, let's hold blade. Because then we can play whatever we draw next turn into the lockjaw lane. Okay. Um, so let's go blade into Hella. We're just bringing back a blob. Ah, that sucks, dude. Actually, we're not going to do Hella. We're just going to do a blob here. That's it. We're going to do a blob here and a blade here. Yeah. Yep. Blob's not going to eat all of our deck, so Blade will swap to something bigger than himself. I mean, Blade will swap. Yeah, he's going to be if not or death. It's not showing. That's a visual bug, but we got death because that's a 14 total power. Nice. Pretty good location for us. I think we just fire off Blade right now. That's cool. Just get rid of the infinite. Strike fear into the heart of our opponents. No. Mmm, yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, we play Sunspot. Actually, let's play Sunspot at the Mirror Dimension. In case it turns into Baxter Building. If it turns into Savage Land, it's fine. Sunspot's fine there, too. Next turn, we can just fire off She-Hulk at the other Baxter Building. Okay. We got a hello, hello, enjoyer. Cool. Yeah, let's just do this. We get a cheap scar. You just play the scar out. The left side Baxter building is more important than the right one because this one feeds to the right. And then that one then feeds over there. So if you're losing the left one, but winning the right one, you only get plus three. If you're using the left, winning the left, you get plus six. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I don't know. I could have just made all that up though. All right, <laughs> let's throw scar over there. Soak with the sunspot. This is, I actually don't mind Jubilee. Because if he gets stuck with like something that's not big enough power to win that Baxter building, then we just win. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, let's go this and this. We're adding nine. Yeah, this is fine. We're going to 12 there. I feel like the biggest thing he can play here is a blob or a magneto. Okay, all right, we got it. That game was the perfect example of like why Sunspot is good here. I mean, Sunspot only got to three energy, but Sunspot, She-Hulk, and Scar is basically why we won that game. All right, we have a solid hand. Don't want to discard Kyra though. Okay. Sure. I think we played Lockjaw there too. And then turn four, we can go Kyra into Blade. Okay. Cool. We go Kyra, Hellfire, Blade at Castle Blackstone. All right, we just got like a good stuff mid range deck. Um, we're quite good against that, especially with Kyra on the porch. It's not really much they can do to stop our power. Um, but yeah, Kyra into Blade is awesome. Cool. Well, hello, that's fine. And everything else in our deck is great. Can't get Shang-Chi, can't get Killmongered. And, um... We have She-Hulk, so we can just float, play big power. That's good. Alright. 
That's not what I thought was coming. I don't think that's too good for him, though. It's like, yeah, you stopped me from cycling, I guess, one more time, but... I'm just gonna play Silver Samurai there. Just to have another chance at pulling, um... Hella. Silver Samurai discards Infinite. And then, uh, as long as we don't draw Blade... We should be super good. That'd be awesome if this was a Hella. <laughs> Bro, come on. Oh my god, really? It's like a 25% chance both times. Oh my god, we still won. <laughs> the blade coming out and drawing the silver samurai were both 25% chance to happen. So ridiculous. All right, thanks for making it this far in the video. It's a, it's a fun deck. It's solid. Um, sometimes I do think... Sometimes Kyra's like, well, you didn't really do much there. But when she's clutch, she's clutch. But if you don't have Kyra, I think Jubilee maybe is an upgrade in some scenarios. Because um, the downside to this deck is... Sometimes you little you have little awkward draws, and Jubilee would really help that out. But uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, like, subscribe, do all those things. Thank you for watching. Check out some cool clothes in the description below. Um, that's it, though. Later on, nerds. Wow, 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 wow,